Welcome back. My name is Raymar Lucas. Today we'll be discussing the beginning of the campaign in President Infinity version 3.31.1, as you can see here. Now, I'm not going to go over the primary, basically the same, but the primary was a 6 finger game by a unnecessary long amount of time. I was playing, of course, as a Democrat against the medium AI controlled Republican, the Libertarian Party, and the Schultz Party. Only that alone, I will be choosing Joe Biden with his IRL running mate, Kamala Harris. You don't see anything. Okay, so I'm going to discuss in my overview of the uh, video UI. This will allow us to choose except a bug grant. Like it says here, this is $150 million. I will not be able to f fundraise. Of course, I've got, excuse me, of course, I've got my current $8.9 million plus how um, much I get fundraise. And really, black grants are good. I increase my score plus 10, and I get a whole bunch of damn money. So why wouldn't you accept the black grant? So you can see here that I have to get at least the majority, 270 to 530 electoral votes. I'm going to always click this button for help. So basically, I've got to start by strategy, which honestly, this is a pretty interesting start, which is mostly what we do. We've got, I can target, activities, platform, theme, ad, target, and research. So we'll do that in order. First, we will target the several states. I will be targeting the closed states of, in 20, as in 2020, I will be targeting... Arizona, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Wisconsin. For now, I don't want to waste all my pips. I only have like, it cost me like two, four, yeah, it cost me two pips. Sorry, it cost me two command points per turn. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be wasting my singular other half a pip, half a CP on selecting Joe Biden. Oh, of course, I can't even do that. Eight and a half CP. So, for now on, I will also let you guys know that I will not be playing on day. I will be playing on seven days per turn auto spin and not spin target. Playing on days is fine, but it's just not my kind of thing. Now for the first turn, uh, we, will be, we will be doing one barnstorm. We'll be doing two barnstorms in Delaware. Well, on the scene, now we should probably move in. Okay. We'll be doing two barnstorms in Pennsylvania. Thankfully, with the weak bonus, I don't have to deal with it, my limit of four, eight, eight and a half CPs a day. Although I do have to watch my EPs, my energy points. Barnstorms in Pennsylvania twice. We'll do another couple of bottom zones on me with leadership. Really, part of me on leadership is probably one of the best things you can do. Leadership is a, one of the most important attributes of this game. And I think I'll fly out to Arizona. And on Saturday, we'll do a couple of bottom zones here on leadership. Now, while that's going on, I will go ahead and choose... My platform, well, no, I'll be leaving my platform alone. I will, however, be choosing my theme. I will go with leadership, Biden, keep that, of course, healthcare, Biden, and economy, Trump. Well, actually, no. I'll actually just keep economy Biden. Actually, no. Yeah. Eh. I'll go to security Biden. It's probably good. That's a security. Of course, these are my things. Now I can also see Trump. Of course, of course, this this is the first turn. We'll be we'll be seeing the changes of these themes across the campaign. Really, though, you don't want to be changing your theme. And I think that's all I'm gonna be doing for the first week really 
no outs for this, no outs for these seven turns. I'll also be doing a couple of, um, I'll be flying to Colorado and doing a couple of, doing in a couple of experience rallies. And I think that's it. You can see here I got enforced by Tim Ryan on the war on drugs. Good impression. Yeah, I usually just ignore these. I've already been spent. I've already spun them, so I can't really manually spin them. But I can. I can. I got. I don't have any interviews on this turn. I will ever spin. Oh, all right. I've already spun. Comes free trade issue. I've got apparently. I've got an inside in North Korea. I've got an intuition bonus from Bond Summit, which happens when you Bond Summit get intuition bonuses, which is good. I've targeted Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Now, the second week, I will continue to target. I suppose I should target Nevada. Yeah, I probably should. Continue to focus like only 2.4. One second. There it is. Now, the thing I've already targeted. I will increase foot soldiers, which increase my activity levels. Basically, it's easy to target. It's a severe, basically, it says here. It increases your strategic plus four, costs a thousand dollars a day, which is pennies to me. It increases your organization strength, which is important. How uh, well I will add work. It also allows you to do. It also allows you to create strength minus one day. Of course, I will be doing polling later, but for now, I will increase my foot soldiers in these four states. Well, these five because I've already targeted Nevada. So now, so now, and the second week of the turn, we've got to make some ads. I'm not willing to make ads but across the United States. It's not my kind of thing, but I will be using this. I will be using these ads to basically increase me on the uh, Social Security. Two turns there. I'll be making a couple of Biden ads, healthcare, Social Security, and one attacking Trump on. Russian interference. Of course, these will finish by the time. These will finish by the time the turn ends, and I really don't feel like going down the days to change that. So, let's go ahead and do some more activities. We will be doing three rallies in Arizona on Tuesday, Wednesday, take a day off. On Friday, we're doing three rallies in Arizona. I will be changing these themes to issue familiarity, which actually has a good bonus here. I mean, it's not as leadership or experience, but I really do need to get the issue familiarity up. Three more rallies on leadership in Georgia. Sunday, I will be doing a policy speech along with some debate prep. Three times, of course. There's only you can only do three events a turn. And on Monday, I'm already out of EP, so I think I'll just scrap the the policy speech. There you go. I still got positive EP by the end of the week. So let's see how this turn goes. Oh, I forgot to check endorsers or surrogates, but I'll do that the turn after, probably. No, I might like I'll forget about it. In terms of endorsers, uh. I do need to get. I need to get Stacey Abrams. It's probably the only one I can grab from the state, and yeah, she's not good. And I only have one CP to use, so I'll just use that, and we'll go to the next turn. Let's see, protest fundraiser. There we go. It's a tech back. Fundraiser. You get endorsed by Kovac. Uh, 
good. Of course, this campaign is too negative, most likely because he said his name against me or someone else. Good. Increasing momentum across the board. Nice, nice, nice. Intuition for leadership, insights for healthcare, three ads completed, targeted there, footsteps across the board, mind rate skill increase. Good. And I still have 100 EP and 52 and a half CP. Not bad. And interesting, my total electoral score decreased to nine. Really, I'm maintaining a grab this Georgia and Arizona at the behest of like the rest of this entirely. So now what I'll do is I'll take the ad I ran onto security and I'll run it in Georgia. I probably should like go to the United States, click this and yeah, that's what I'll go to the United States, click this instead. And I'll select my targeted states. I don't really care about any of the other states. Mm, yeah, I should run into Michigan as well. Uh, I'll probably also got start also start getting Michigan targeted. Otherwise, I think I'm good for that. I'll do the same thing with my other ads. United States. Check back to start running. Select targeted. And the same here. Check mark. United States, select targeted. Really, I'm not going to focus on any of the states that don't matter to me. Like, say, North Carolina, Texas, Kansas, Iowa. I don't need them. I don't even need Iowa. That would be nice to have. Anyways, for the activities for this week, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do uh, some more issue knowledge. Three issue knowledge there. Some debate prep. There. Um, some more debate prep. I don't have the first debate until like the seventh, but I'd rather be prepared now and not later. So debate prep again. For me, I'm not going to attack Trump, although I probably will do so on the third day. Um, as for this, we'll do some rallies in Georgia. Two rallies there. Three rallies here. And then we'll go to, say... Well, I guess we'll go to Wisconsin then. We'll take a day off. A little rally, 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 rally. This time against Trump on his health care issue. And uh, I think that's it. Well, actually, I'll do a policy speech in Wisconsin on health care. And I think that's all I want to do. Yeah, pretty much it. Uh, one last thing. I'm also going to make more ads. Let's see, one for Biden, for leadership, one for Biden on healthcare, and one for Trump on the security. And I think that's it. And then when these expire, I can just run the ads. I've already ran, I've already created. And I'm good. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Clicking in, next turn. Oh my. Nice swinging Georgia, he's got momentum. Uh, he's got the NRA. I don't have any endorsers, I haven't even done any endorsers, but. Oh, cool, I've actually managed to make Georgia a toss up, but I've also lost Minnesota. Nevada, not bad. 42 days out, and my HQ morale was like minus one to CP. Oof, that's not good. Anyhow, uh, also lost Michigan, rip. But I saw that coming. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this turn, I think, I'll try and grab endorses from Michigan. Alright, one, two, three CPs there. Whitmer, one, two. Peters one, Stabano one, and the AFL-CIO one. Yeah, that's a lot of CPs, but honestly, we could use it. In Georgia, we're going to go with Abrams, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and that's it for this turn. We're looking pretty good all over things and there across the board. Otherwise, it's concerning, but... That's something I'm going to worry about, and I think Colorado is going to go for us regardless. 
Don't care about North Carolina. Don't care about Virginia. Anyways, I'm gonna delete these ads we already ran. I'm gonna scroll up to United States. <coughs> I'm gonna select this ad. I'm gonna run in targeted regions. And just keep doing that. And this is how you win. You target your regions, you bring your ads, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And we will continue on creating new ads for Biden, for leadership, Biden, for healthcare, and Trump on Social Security. And the last thing I'll do is I create a surrogate, I'll create, I guess, one of go with Dashel. It'll take 10 CP. So basically, it'll take this entire turn for basically 10 CP day. And I'm going to have five points nationally in regards to that state, in regards to Georgia. But nationally, I'm only going to have like 0.9%. Still, over 300 electoral votes, not the 2020 outcome, because, you know, so this was done before that. But I think that's pretty much it. And then for campaigns, we will do rally, rally, rally in Pennsylvania. Two days out. And then this day we'll do policy speech and then debate prep. So yeah, sorry, issue uh issue knowledge here. Issue knowledge there. And then debate prep. Honestly, debates aren't that important, but they're also kind of important. Two days of that. We'll take that day off, and then we'll do the debate. And I think that'll be it. And Minnesota, I will go back to our column. Nice. His attack is backfired. Nice. His speed backfired. Nice. Somehow we've got like negative power for the free trade story, which sucks. Otherwise, nothing new. Cool. We are ahead of polls. Nice. Win the bait. Dang. Plus 12. Man, they thought signing by a whole one because of that debate prep we did. A whole lot, all of these things, all of these work, so. Mm, no, all of these gave us lovely momentum in Pennsylvania. Like, all of the momentum we needed. Interesting. Florida, I thought it would have been way closer, but it's not. It's honestly pretty solid. It has on a flip back. Gonna have to do something about that. Of course, we already ran these ads, so I'll delete them. And then run these ads again in targeted states. And make more ads. Biden Healthcare. Biden Social Security. And Trump Healthcare. Honestly, it's pretty much this. This is basically it. And then our surrogate is done. So I'll send him automatically. They'll do a rally for us across the next 22 days. Otherwise, I think we're good. Uh, let's check our platform. No, not platform. I'm going to check our theme. We got plus two across the board. Nice. Of course, Trump is against me for two issues and for him on one. Um, for me on all three issues. Probably could go with against Trump on health care, but I think I'll just keep the positive. And of course, we've already hit our the bonus for both of these, so well, that's what we're going to be campaigning on the entire time. Leadership, healthcare, and social security. I think that'll be it. Now this week's activities, we're going to go and do some Arizona healthcare, healthcare campaigns.
leadership there. Healthcare again. After that, we'll wait two days, fly to Wisconsin, and do leadership. For two days. That's everything. Alright, now we'll just go to the next week. We now have five weeks out. This will be four weeks coming soon. Ooh, shows came apart in Utah. Or at least I did somehow. Strange. The mm, is gonna be close. At least we're still gaining Pennsylvania. Lost Michigan. Alabama is really close for some reason. Biden. Ooh, interesting. Lost our leads there. Came up along with Schultz. Nothing new there. Wisconsin still toss up. I'm leading by like. Hmm, it's a close. Anyways. Oof, the side backfired a rip. We'll just get rid of these. And we'll go to the USF Arch. And run these at targeted states. Now this week, we'll do, there's a VP debate, so what I'll do is I'll do issue knowledge here, and debate prep. Issue knowledge here, and debate prep. And then, I'll do a nice whole Arizona campaign, really. And then Barnstorm to take all those EPAs. And then we'll fly to Georgia and campaign on healthcare the entire time. Oops. I'm gonna set these to healthcare. And I think that's everything. Oh, hold on. I gotta check. Yep, these are running. I'll make new ads now. Biden, healthcare. Biden. Leadership. Biden. Social Security. No, it's guys one in the bait. Native momentum rip us. He won the debate. Yeah. We came in second. Oof, he attacked us. That's why. And of course, Heron's won. Plus three. Oof, she should. He would have gotten three. That was six. And it's just a 21 day. Went down a bit nationally and properly vote. We managed to win back Michigan, Pennsylvania. We're not going to get Arizona, it looks like. Or oh, Georgia, minus to get Florida. Although we lost a whole bunch of lead there. It came up pretty good in North Carolina though. Ohio was swinging back and forth, Michigan back and forth, Wisconsin. Doesn't seem like us that much. RCP gain per week has gone down negative three because of our, our uh, yeah, stupid morale. Just keep on pushing the mats. Biden, healthcare, Trump, Social Security, Trump healthcare, and Biden leadership. I don't know what HQ model it just kind of is. And as well, just continue to rally out in Georgia. Leadership, leadership, leadership. Leadership, leadership, leadership. No more. Dip well, the next debate is on the 21st. And then we go here. 
two debates, two rallies, Wisconsin. And then here we just do a whole bunch of debate prep. This time we'll attack Trump. I think that's it. And we can hear the move. Going back to Arizona, nice. You want to debate? You spin that. You got NAACP, we got the New York Times, got the National Right to Life. Oof, he lost the UAW, nice. Oof, and he lost the National Right to Life, damn. We got good, good polls. We got slammed in Utah, doesn't really matter, we don't care about Utah. We still had a Trump crash nationally. Looks like our momentum is stalled in Georgia, Arizona, Wisconsin, but otherwise, pretty good. Managed to flip Arizona by 2%, nice. All right, CP morale is back to negative one instead of negative two. Well, negative three. Lost Pennsylvania. That sucks. When we got 14 days, we'll do one more issue knowledge. And debate prep against Donald. Donald, will you shut up me on Trump? After this, we don't need to know, but we don't care if you care about the debates anymore. This time, I guess we're going to keep going on in health care or, you know, Social Security in Wisconsin. Leadership in Wis leadership twice in Wisconsin. Then we go to Arizona, do a whole bunch of barnstorms. And that's it. I'm not gonna make any more ads. Looks like my surrogate Dashiell has was gone, so. I guess I'll spin. No, I'd still like to make. I'm not gonna make any more targets. And I guess we'll continue on. Nice, solidified Arizona. Won the debate. It's coming to negative. All of his shit got backfired. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a worse guy. Yeah, plus three in debate. Dang, that's pretty good. Not much momentum. All of our things weren't successful because they were negative power. We got insights in negative power. Honestly, not bad. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna win. Hell, even Georgia. I'm surprised. We'll make final rounds. We'll do like one and a half days per state. Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. Arizona here, Wednesday. Then we we'll go to... Um, one, two, three, four, then Georgia, one, two, one, two, three, four, and I guess Iowa, just twice, one, two, Pennsylvania three times. One, two, three, and then finally we'll just do Florida. One, two, three. And I think that's it, yeah. And this is our final stretch, guys. Oof, lost Arizona. They take it down in the final stretch. Yeah, it's a uh, bank. <laughs> Negative three scandal on the 1st of November. Oof, I got calling a creamy by Trump. Yeah, I ripped that off. Flap him then. Not bad. Good interviews. His attack had backfired. Positive interview. Yeah, but it's how the like, doesn't really matter in the end. This is the final polling. Let's see, we're up. 4240, 40, well, 4341 in Iowa, 47, 42 in Pennsylvania, down 43, 44 in Ohio, up 40, up 50, 40, up 50, 41 in Michigan. Ooh, it's going to be close, 43, 40, 44, 42 there. 
easy, easy caps. Uh, pretty easy in Nevada, too. Arizona, though, is going to be the rough one. 43, 44, 43 there. 44, 45, 41, Florida, 45, 44 in Georgia, Virginia, though, going to be close. Nothing new in New Maine or New Hampshire. And even Target Alley one, I might actually take it. Texas, though, not looking that close. Not the cut looking close, and I thought they would have been. So, I, I'm predicting a Biden win. We should take most of our... The the only thing I don't I only the only thing I don't expect us to take are Wisconsin and Arizona, and probably Georgia. But we should take Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Nevada, of 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 the ones we targeted. So let's see how this goes. Election night. Damn. Sixty four, eighty four percent of the first vote counts. Ooh. Ten minutes later, we're still leading. And this is, this is basically a Biden wave at this point if we're leading this hard in the early points. Yeah, and again, it flips. It's no surprise. It's already like 30 something percent in yet. Well, it's only 650. We should see, something, we should see nothing, something really good at the uh, 7 10 p.m. block when 7 8 p.m. states get called. Early leadings in Georgia. <laughs> Georgia, hmm, could be close though. Indiana's looking, yeah, I expect us to lose. We're already down, but like, oh, Georgia, we're leaning in Georgia this early, that's surprising. But not leaning in Florida this early, it's not surprising. We're 942 there, yeah, gonna be close though. Indiana, yeah, I don't think we're gonna take that. 75% is already gonna go for him. Yeah, they did. Less than 60% though. Virginia, yeah, Ohio could be the interesting one to watch. Florida's close. It looks like we're getting late in this early. Yeah. That's what I thought. We'd, 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 we'd win Virginia. Easy. Pennsylvania, ooh, gonna be close. And yeah, we lost Georgia by 3%. Rip. Took Florida, though. Nice. Looks like we're going to take Ohio. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't. Dang. We might have to take Pennsylvania, though. We're taking Michigan, definitely. This is just bullshit. Arkansas, weird. Oof. It's going to come down on the wire, isn't it? Well, we won Wisconsin. We won Michigan. Looks like we're going to lose Wisconsin. Managed to lose North Carolina. That's what I didn't really, that's what I expected though. Oof, 60% margin in North Carolina, oof. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not too bad. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not bad. And I said, uh, we should take this easy. Although if they take it, it's going to be a close one. Oh yeah, that was a close 5%. Nothing new out of Colorado. Arizona. Damn, that was a close margin. But we won easily, thanks to Florida. Although even if we lost Florida, we would have still won. Thanks to Pennsylvania. And we actually managed to win Iowa. No, Iowa is still leading. And I thought was going to flip. That's what I thought. And we're probably going to lose Iowa. It's like we're going to lose North Dakota. Oh, no, actually, one Iowa. Dang, one Iowa, lost North Carolina, Georgia, one Florida, lost Ohio, lost Arizona, one Nevada. Yeah, that'd be 304 to 334. Uh, couldn't even break 50% of the popular vote thanks to Schultz and Chaffee. Ugh. No, actually, we're going to break 50%. Nice. No, are we going to break 50%? Oh, this is still coming in. Yeah, we're not going to break 50% this game. Oh, well. Yeah. Pretty good. 
nine million more votes. No, uh, 10, 11 million more votes. Yes. Let's see our closest states. Lost Arizona and gained Iowa, both by 0.8%. Gained Florida by 2, lost Ohio by 2.3, lost Wisconsin by 2.3, lost Georgia by 2.8, took Michigan by 3.5, one took Pennsylvania by 3.7, took Virginia by, honestly, closer margin than I would have thought, only 4.8%. Took Minnesota by 5, Maine by 6, North Carolina lost by 7, Missouri by 8, honestly, close. Texas was nine points dying. North Dakota being within ten points is pretty surprising. And that was it. Well, I hope this gave you a way to take I hope this gave you a way to help you run your campaign to President Infinity. And I'll see you guys next time.